Une chronique. Une chronique. Prouver une nouvelle idée chronique. Mais quoi Salut petit cowboy. T'as déjà entendu parler du Rendance Immersive Reynolds Immersive was born eight years ago out of Reynolds Film Festival in London, which is the biggest independent film festival in Europe. Um, and the festival actually started uh, in central London 32 years ago. So this is the 32nd edition of the festival. Important milestone year for us was the year 2020 when we brought the festival here to, to VR chat and we built a virtual venue. Um, and these 40 projects also compete across eight award categories. very very impressed by the creativity on this platform and and the very heartwarming uh, community and this year is a special year which i'm sure joe can cover we have something very new a new addition to the festival yes Yes, my, my name is Joe, and I'm co-curator alongside Maria, and I've been helping to curate uh, for three years. This is my third year now, and as Maria mentioned, uh, we've, we've got some new categories this year, and our newest categories are Best Short Film of VR and Best Music Video of VR, and so that's why we're having our interview today in this beautiful cinema world, uh, which was made by Lucy Liu. Um, yeah, very excited to be hosting Raindance Immersive 2023 now. It's uh, We've had a great start to the festival, and um, we're really looking forward to our future events as well. And I, I published uh, over 30 hours of like, interviews from this. Thank you. Everyone for coming. This was our first ever screening um, at Rain Dance, officially in selection. So this was such a treat. Congratulations. Thank you. Wonderful again to be celebrating filmmakers. Uh, congratulations, congratulations also on Ulterior Motives, Ariel, and the team. Um, today was wonderful. Thank you for sharing this with us. Um, <laughs> oh, that was dangerous. And those award categories are Best Immersive Narrative. These are for animation projects. One of which is actually here in VR chat called um, Mormoverse Under the Pillow. And actually today we are organizing a guided tour with Georgi Molotso and Dale Deacon, the two creators. The most wonderful adventures happen while everyone is asleep. Welcome. This is little Gosha. I really want to be friends with him, and his sister Yulia too. But right now I'm invisible. I have no paws, no head, no tail. I only have a name. Kitten Mormitten. Meow, meow. Got the original concept of the film Yeah, the way you've seen it and the story, the way my father wrote it, was that he 
divorced my mother and he left uh, the family, so he wanted to keep connected with us while I was six years old and my sister was ten years old. So he started to write us this kind of stories, but that one stayed alive for longer, giving us a lesson that we should help each other instead of fighting all over everything by sharing the same room uh, we live together. Uh, that it's not a randomly picked object, some of them randomly picked, but some of them are not. And my father passed like 17 years ago, but we scanned this picture from one of the apartments he lived, and that one from the actually from another apartment. The, and uh, you can see them both in animation film and in, in here, because it was important for me to fill in the world with objects which make sense for me. So, and for me, this virtual world is really like a, not only a fun game for you to play or an animation film for you to watch, but also a world where I can feel safe reconnecting with my family. Especially now, as I'm not living in my home country anymore, um, it, it makes me feel quite safe. Uh, then we have uh, Best Immersive World. Uh, five of those projects are here in VR chat. Uh, District Roboto Complex 7 that just launched by prolific creator Fins. This is my actual cat, Eggy. <laughs> he exists. Aww. 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 He survives the apocalypse. Yes. Uh, Horse Canyon uh, by prolific creator and Prowler, which is a western themed world. And Astral Bounds, uh, Cerulean Tide by uh, another prolific creator, uh, Vectrio. Uh, then Magnetize by two lovely and prolific creators, Juice and Delta Never Use, which is a puzzle game. It started with that Magnet Shader. Um, I think within that week, just talking back and forth, uh, I don't know, I, I was feeling ins inspired and I just started coming up with like a list, uh, thinking in terms of like a, 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 a player's journey. Like, uh, I, I should go find the list because it, it's a little different uh, now than it was at the start. But basically, <laughs> just writing a, a one, two, three uh, list where it's like player enters world. Somebody shows a picture of like, uh, I don't know, jazz cups and rock posters and like this, this is what the 90s were. And it's got like synthwave stuff everywhere. And then <laughs> beside it, like, no, this is what it actually was. And it's like your grandma's like 70s style basement. And it's like, yeah, that, that's what it actually looked like. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so true. This is the whole, whole texture. Everything is in this. So this is everything is. In this okay. one texture? It's most things. It's everything except yeah. um, repeating detail textures that are on here. As part of the festival this year, we're also celebrating five short films and five music videos that have all been shot inside VR chat. Um, ten incredible pieces of work. Um, and I'm so, so pleased that we're going to be screening each of the short films and music videos in VR chat in our cinema space and streaming them live on YouTube as well. Hey everyone, I am extremely excited to be welcoming you to our very first Rain Dance immersive VR chat screening. So thank you so much for coming. So hey, I'm Dirty Seagulls and I draw stuff on VR chat and outside of VR chat. The end. I want to say I've been drawing maybe like, when did I start VR chat, man? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Probably five years ago, I think. And I've got a lot of hours, a kind of embarrassing amount of hours. <laughs> and most of them are spent drawing. I don't know. What's the big deal? People act so weird about like, oh, you're 30 and you play VR chat. <laughs> Like, yeah, like, you just don't understand. What do you think? You just grow up and then you stop playing. Yeah, and I bought it myself. Like, I yeah, bought it myself exactly. and I get for Christmas under the Christmas tree. You know, after my parents worked 100,000 hours. 
Yeah, I think you just <laughs> launched your pen into the air. It's over here. <laughs> when you said Christmas it's tree, my... it went flying out of your hand. <laughs> It's my Lily VR chat. gets so chat. angry it's sometimes, it like bends my... virtual reality, okay? You guys are slowly <laughs> moving away from me! You guys are slowly oh, moving! <laughs> okay. Okay, so what was the question? <laughs> I, I think it's hard to explain to people who don't use social VR what it feels like to be in it, and to kind of explain that like everybody here are real people, and the kind of things that you can experience together are really magical um and uh when i saw your film i was like oh shit that's the that's the format like that's great and then um from just meeting the artists and having experiences in the world myself um i wanted to know more about their perspective and then uh there mm. was the vr life drawing art fair um and it just seemed like it was a good time to like get people talking about why they like painting in vr and uh yeah it was good you know it's cool it's cool to be here and i feel pretty pretty honored to like be a part of the film and everything uh i think it's really cool I mean, I've been drawing on VRChat for so long, and, you know, it's nice to have, like, something I could be like, oh, yeah, I could ch show my friends or show uh, my family, like, what I've been doing for all this time mm -hmm. now. Because a lot of yeah. people don't understand it, you know, so it's, it's nice to have, like, an actual piece of media showing, uh, showing just what we do. Et quel est le lien entre expérience cinématographique et réalité virtuelle Hmm, that's an interesting question. Talking about cinematography and virtual reality, I, I've been having conversations about this before, and in, in the way that you know we can use cameras in this space and how they relate to the cameras in the physical world. And I think you know it would would, would be good for me to say now, um, as part of the festival, we like to recognize trends and follow the community and see what is popular and see what artistic mediums are really flourishing and I, as I've been in the industry for, for you know for a good five years and Maria of course longer than me um, we really noticed this year that VR filmmaking has been such a major um, has been making major steps this year. There's been a lot more festivals celebrating uh, VR films in VR chat. Um, and more films coming out. I released my first feature film last year, and there's been a lot more filmmakers, like the filmmakers sh being shown in the festival, releasing um, more complex works. And when it comes to this question of, of camera, I've seen a lot of directors using influences from their physical, you know, their favorite physical films, their like favorite live action films, and really applying that to um, their filmmaking skills in VR chat. When we're using cameras here, we can apply cinematic tools that we use typically, like pulling focus, flying drones, different camera movements, pushing in and out, drone mo drone movements, um, and use that to tell stories. And I hope that um, the selection in the festival this year really highlights the, the diversity of filmmaking and uh, the cinematography that you can achieve. Gosh, this is so huge. This is the hugest thing that I've ever done, really, to be able to share a film that I created with the wonderful audience at Rain Dance Immersive. I'm so grateful to be included in the show and be included in the selection. And I'm so grateful to everybody who helped me get, get here, all of the cast and collaborators that worked with me on this film who did an absolutely incredible job. Um, huge thank you to the Rain Dance team. And finally, a huge thank you to Ariel and your collaborators for engaging in this conversation and for showing your film at the festival. This has been a pleasure. Please give them a round of applause. Tonight, actually midnight UK time, um, we have a very special event uh, in the world called This World Will Be Deleted in 24 Hours. So essentially, uh, in the main version of this world, uh, for the past 280 days, uh, we have had a 24-hour timer that uh, is always ticking down 24-7. 
Uh, and so if anybody joins the world or pr and uh, presses the button in the middle, uh, that timer gets reset back to 24 hours. It's kind of like an experiment to see how long the world uh, survives for. Uh, and so with this version of the world, we've disabled the button and we're allowing people to see all 24, hour, 24 versions of the world, essentially. Mm -hmm. Another exciting oh, thing about this world, uh, which it, it's exciting that we're being given the opportunity to finally show off all 24 hours. Uh, Hobart and I are actually working on a massive update to this world to kind of celebrate the uh, one year coming up in a few months. Uh, nice. That is my current project. So... Uh, it's it'll be it'll be exciting seeing all of the all of the hours now and then kind of once that new update comes out in a few months uh, once it's all finished. I'm just more so curious how this lock myself. is even locking the door. Like it's just clearly <laughs> attached again. to the door itself oh, yeah. and not the door knob. Finally, open <laughs> up the door. Uh, all That's I can say is. is nobody knows what's behind this door yet, uh, oh as of the, as oh, as of the lowest time now. <laughs> um, the project has been preserved uh, since February, which is fantastic. That's so an interesting social experiment. The next award is Best Immersive Art Experience, and then we have calligraphy by presented by the virtual museum of virtual art here in vr chat created by a chinese world builder called jesse and huang who collaborated with a chinese 3d calligraphy artist called boyan um, and it's a wonderful museum that on one hand um, reveals the research process and, and the various 3d calligraphy techniques of boyan as well as it also, of course, displays the art. And VR is a fantastic medium for 3D calligraphy to come and experience. Then we have um, a project that has not yet been announced by Takao Mi. He's a Japanese creator. Uh, everyone, may I make a quick announcement? Yeah. I'm going to be big. Um, um, to make a very quick announcement, we have a world in the selection that has been in development still. And the world has just been released. And so we would love to take our audience here, if you have time, to come and see one of the worlds in the best art experience um, it, that Maria is going to drop a portal to. Last year he did a project called Meta Metamorphosis, so uh, which displayed like illustrations of Japanese artists. So it's set within the same kind of world and universe. Oh, wow. The, the, the jellyfish is on. Wait, you can touch them? No, no, you can't. Okay. Um, then we have another Japanese creator. The October and, and, and his theme uh, with Beyond a Bit, which is a kind of beautiful VR chat, kind of sonic and visual kind of experience. at that experience as a whole it, it definitely is digital art so i would love curators of art galleries actually potentially you know start paying attention to virtual worlds and virtual world building as, as a new form of art then the next category is um, best immersive music experience uh, 
these are all five live music experiences from here within VR Chat. Two are J pop. Uh, one is a very, very fun and famous uh, band from Japan called Amoka, who were actually born here in VR Chat. <laughs> The other one is also from Japan called Capsule, and they actually started、um, as an electro pop duo band in the 90s. And、um, Capsule Live,、uh, which is their project、uh, here on VR Chat, is, the, is their first experience that they created here in VR Chat. Is called uh, Project uh, Synthetica Symmetry. Thank you for, thank you for coming out to Project Synthetica Symmetry.、Um, the, uh, the idea behind this was we actually held a live rave and I did a back to back with Electro.、Uh, we did a one hour set, and the idea behind、um, the first world in Project Synthetica's lineup is to have a rave that you can attend whenever you want to. <laughs> Last category called Best Immersive Experience, and that's kind of dedicated to live performances. And this year, it's really a broad、uh, and diverse mix of genres. So, as part of the opening of the festival, we had、uh, Aiden Interactive's latest production,、um, Halloween themed Darkwood Manor. Uh, which obviously it's, it's set in their kind of very beautifully designed、um, world and cabaret world、uh, with beautiful set design and stage and dancers in full body tracking and you know, with very, very creative avatars and choreography.、Um, and lots of our guests absolutely loved and enjoyed、uh, the, the experience and compared it to actually Broadway productions. Now, before I do open the gates, though, I feel like we're in the need of some decor change. I think it's looking a little bright and cheery in here, don't you? Much better. Now, do you come in?
one is Fail to Render, which is the very, very first comedy club in, in VR. They started out in uh, All Space, and last year they moved to VR Chat. Um, and then last but not least, we have VR Japan tours under the autumn moon here in VR Chat, which is partially a cultural experience and partially a dance performance. Uh, so we'll get to learn about um, a new aspect of uh, Japanese culture, and then um, the dance performance will will kind of celebrate the, the moon festival, hence the kind of creative naming under the, the autumn moon. Uh, the trick here is follow through with the brush stroke. And you want to gently release your brush to make it work. Touch. Release. release. Gently release, okay? Yeah, good job, good job. <laughs> yes. Uh, you're the perfect. Kanji. 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 Remember performance? Remember performance. Et avant de revenir sur la cérémonie des récompenses, j'aimerais vous demander Pour vous, qu'offre l'expérience de la VR que n'offrirait pas le monde réel I think a good manifestation of, for this question this year is actually 3D calligraphy. 
the virtual museum of virtual art and their exhibition of thickness of calligraphy where the artist is exploring obviously 3d calligraphy which is very hard to convey on paper or in any 2d medium but vr really really lends itself really well for such a such a three-dimensional exhibition and 3d calligraphy becomes kind of like a sculpture in space um, and you know when you go to that beautiful museum world you can um, walk around uh, the exhibits and then like study the 3d calligraphy uh, in three-dimensional space mm. I, I, for me that's that, definitely a great example and of, of course also when it comes to live performances um, obviously VR lends itself to all kinds of very interesting stage design that perhaps you couldn't do in real life or if you did it it would cost millions of, of you know dollars or, or euros uh, versus here you can pull visual effects a lot easier you can transport and you know change the set design in a snap uh, and kind of transforming stages in a physical theater would be a lot lot harder and of course it would cost a lot more money Mm. And also in maybe terms... in filmmaking, location scouting oh. within virtual worlds is a lot faster and cheaper than, you know, location scouting in, in real life. When you say uh, a real show, are you going to try and recreate this in the real world? Or... Oh, I wish if I had that kind of money. <laughs> uh, no. That's very true. That's a good point. I was also going to add, in terms of the festival experience, the experience of coming to Rain Dance Immersive and engaging with the projects and the artists, um, it was in 2020 we had our first year uh, putting the festival on in VR chat and, and hosting social events and it was such an incredible experience being able to really engage with all of the artists who were participating in our festival world. Um, um, and we realized we could really build a community in this space. And, you know, that became really important to us and, you know, in, important to just the, the kind of identity of Rain Dance Immersive as well. And so, as you've seen over the past three years, we've really embraced that. Um, you know, we also held, it's important to say, a, a physical side to Rain Dance Immersive this year. We're in London and we showed uh, film screenings and also got people in headset to try the different games and experiences. Um, but a lot of our events take place in VR chat. Um, that is a really important part of the festival and it gives us an opportunity to connect to people all around the world. For example, we you know had two openings of the festival in VR chat this year. One targeted for European Asian time zones and then another one targeted for US time zones so we could really connect with our international audience. And that's something you could only do in virtual reality yeah, in terms of the presence that you feel and the engagement that you have. And so virtual reality gives us so much um, in coordinating a festival, especially a festival that recognizes VR and, and independent VR artists as well. So, um, yeah, we're both big fans of VR chat um, and social VR. And of course, it feels right for a VR festival to be hosted in VR. Oh, I love there. it. You gotta be in the it's crowd. Got, it's got the logo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted to rep rep my fam. You know, every fam. family. I love yeah. you all. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Woo. Potato. It means so much. So cute. I love it. I'm the plant and this is my like, mech suit. Oh, to interact with people. We can have a quiet sunset. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Deep Rift. Thank you, Chris. Wow, what an incredibly full instance. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Welcome to our Rain Dance Immersive Awards Ceremony. Oh, Into the no cinema, worries. please. Yes. What's happening now? <laughs> so the Spirit of Rain Dance Award uh, for Rain Dance Immersive 2023, the first one goes to... Well, I have to say it's such a great honor that uh, Thickness of Calligraphy won this Best Immersive Art Experience Award this year. 
to be honest, at this year's Wind Dance,、uh, I saw a lot of excellent works and made many new friends. Being able to be here with all these incredibly interesting creators makes me believe once again in the beauty of virtual reality. I come from a place long, long time ago in a world called Alt Space.、Uh, that's where I started,、uh, but they 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 took Alt Space away from us. But VR Chat is definitely、uh, superior in every way, and、uh, I I look forward to many years of live immersive comedy shows. And I don't know how to thank you guys. Thank you so much for having me.、Uh, I I I appreciate everybody here. I'm I'm at a lack of words. So thank you so much. Those were the nominees. It's for for best immersive art experience.、Oh, If you freeze, don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Take, but please don't. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> Joe may or may not freeze. That's fine. Um. <laughs> well, let me get a break. My breath here. My heart's like racing. <laughs> okay. Well. Um. Wow. So what a journey it has been for me. I gotta tell you,、um, this is the first time oh, that I've ever been、uh, at a film festival.、Um, I don't know what to say, but thank you so much. I'm glad you guys are enjoying. Thank you so much. I hope、uh, there you are. Grab it. I'm on desktop. I hope uh, Wi-Fi uh, on the hotel is pretty good. But yeah, here I am. I got my boys with me. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Make myself look like an idiot. I just want a selfie with everyone in the background here, please. <laughs> Hell yeah! This is cool. Thank you, everyone. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the world, by the way. I think that's it. I'll keep it nice and short. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> it all、yes. such great, amazing entries. So thank you, everyone. Huge thank you to all the nominees and all the artists who really、mm -hmm. bring this festival to life. And this is you—you you are the, the fuel of this festival. Because of you, we wouldn't be here today. And your your art that inspires us every day, and your creations, and all the innovative projects that you do, especially in VR, social VR,、um, are really the reason why why we exist and why we do what we do. You make me cry every day, every night. The moon shines so bright, high up in the sky. Have you come here tonight on a warm, gentle night? I long for a chance to hold your hand and dance once more in the corner of my eyes. Fluttering butterflies, I'm a dream.